Welcome geometers to our first video of chapter 8, which is find angle measures in polygons. Chapter 8 is all about quadrilaterals, so we're going to start out with just the basics of polygons today, and then we're going to move on to parallelograms and then more specific type of quadrilaterals. Today we have three objectives. We're going to calculate interior angle sums of a polygon. We're also going to use the interior angle formula to calculate the number of sides given a figure or an individual angle in that figure. And then we are also going to use properties of the exterior angles. So let's start with some angle sums that we should already know. The interior angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees. You should know that. We've done that all of first semester. The interior angles of a quadrilateral sum to a quadrilateral, that's like a square or a rectangle. Um, if we think of a square, a square has four right angles. So that's going to be 360 degrees. The interior angles of a pentagon sum to 540 degrees. That one you might not have known. So let's look for a pattern. To go from 180 to 360, I had to add 180. I had to add 180 again. So the interior angles of an n-gon sum to, n-gon just means that there are n sides. These sum to 180 multiplied by n minus 2. And that formula is always true. Um, it applies to the previous examples. So a triangle has three sides. So 3 subtract 2 multiplied by 180 is going to give us 180. Quadrilateral, 4 subtract 2 multiplied by 180 is going to give us 360. So if you want to find what all the interior angles sum to be, what they all add to be, take the number of sides, subtract 2, and multiply by 180. So let's look at example 1. It says, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex octagon. Okay, so octagon, that's what's important. Remember that an octagon has eight sides. So in order to find the sum, I'm going to do 180 multiplied by 8 subtract 2. 8 subtract 2 is 6, so I'm really doing 180 multiplied by 6, which is 1,080 degrees. So all of the interior angles of a convex octagon are going to add to be 1,080 degrees. Okay, you try example 2. It says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 2,160 degrees. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So use this formula above to solve for the number of sides. Pause the video and come back when you are finished, please. Okay, let's see how we did. 2,160 degrees, that's my sum, is equal to 180 multiplied by n minus 2. I'm going to guess that most of you distributed the 180. That leaves me with 180 n subtract 360. So I'm going to add 360 to both sides. I get 180n equals 2,520. If I divide by 180, I get n equals 14. So there are 14 sides. The name for that is a 14 gon. So hopefully that went well for you. If not, that's okay. Hopefully we now see what mistakes we made. Let's move on. For example number three, we need to find the measures of angles S and T in the figure below. So we notice we have this pentagon. It's a five-sided figure. So the first thing that we need to figure out is what are those all those interior angles going to add up to be? So I'm going to do 180 multiplied by 5 subtract 2 which is going to be 540. We are sh already should know that the angles in a pentagon add up to 540 because that's written above. We already wrote that earlier. Now I know that all my interior angles have to add to be 540 degrees. We're shown in the figure these two arcs. These two arcs are going to mean that S and T are congruent. So if I call angle T X, I'm going to call angle S also X. Now I add them up and I set them equal to 540. So 93 add 156, add 85, 
add x, add another x, equals 540. And now I'm going to simplify. On the left side, I have 334 add 2x equals 540. If I subtract 334, I get 2x equals 206. And so x is 103 degrees. Therefore, angles S and T are 103 degrees. And we better just make sure we answer that. The measure of angle S is 103 degrees. The measure of angle T is also 103 degrees. Okay, we have one more example before moving on to the next topic. Example 4 says calculate the measure of an interior angle of a regular nonagon. So we need to digest this a little bit. Calculate the measure of an interior angle. So that means one angle of a regular nonagon. Okay, so nonagon, that means I have nine sides. Regular means that the figure is equilateral and equiangular. So it means all the angles are going to be congruent. So, let's see if you can do this one. Pause the video and try this one on your own. I'm going to suggest that you start with this formula. Good luck. Okay, let's see how we did. First thing that I would have done is use the formula with 9. So I get 1,260. This is the sum of the, all the interior angles. But the question specifically asks, what is the measure of one interior angle of a regular nonagon? So what I'm going I'm to do is I'm going to take that sum and I'm going to divide by 9 angles in a nonagon. And I have 140 degrees. So therefore, um, one interior angle of a regular nonagon is 140 degrees. Again, this only applies to regular nonagons, those nonagons where all the angles are congruent. Hopefully that one went well. If not, hopefully you now see how to approach a problem. Um, this can be a little tricky because there's one formula, but so many different ways to apply it. So that was talking about interior angles, the first two objectives of this video. Moving on, we're going to talk about exterior angles. Okay, so the exterior angles theorem. It says the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360 degrees. So the interior angles, there's a formula. Exterior angles, it's always 360 no matter what. So looking at example 5, it says what is the value of x in the diagram? All those angles shown are exterior angles. They're the angles outside of the polygon. And we talked about exterior angles before when we were talking about triangles. Okay, so all of those are going to sum to be 360 degrees. So I'm going to get 2x, add x, add 89, add 67 equals 360. Simplifying, I have 3x, add 156 equals 360. If I subtract 356, I get 3x equals 204 then x equals 68. So b should be our correct answer. So exterior angles tend to be a lot easier than interior angles because the sum is 360 no matter what. Let's move on. We have a few more examples. Okay, so example number six. It says the measure of an interior angle of a regular convex polygon is 140 degrees. Find the number of sides of this polygon. Okay, so there's two ways to think about a problem like this, in terms of interior angles and in terms of exterior angles. Interior angles have the, the difficult formula, or the more difficult formula, of 180 multiplied by n minus 2. Exterior angles sum to be 360 no matter what. Because of this fact, we're going to use the exterior angles instead. So it says the measure of an interior angle is 140. If an interior angle is 140, we need to find an exterior angle. Looking back at our previous figure, I have an interior angle here and an exterior angle here. What you're going to notice is that they form a straight line. They're supplementary. 
Therefore, if my interior angle is 140 degrees, my exterior angle is going to be 180, subtract 140, which is 40 degrees. So this same polygon, if each interior angle is 140 degrees, each exterior angle is going to be 40 degrees. Now we need to find the number of sides. Well, we know that the sum is 360. I'm going to divide that by each one is 40 degrees. This gives me nine sides. So our figure is a nonagon, which should make sense. In example four, which had a nonagon, each interior angle was 140 degrees. So this is just a verification of what we did in example four. Okay, you have one last problem to do on your own. So we talked about two main things this, this video, two main topics. We talked about interior angles and we talked about exterior angles in various polygons. So in this next example, it says one interior angle, one exterior angle of a regular polygon is 45 degrees. Calculate the number of sides. I will tell you that your answer should be eight sides. When you come to class, I'll be making sure that you have this example completed correctly with the correct work. Um, if you're still a little confused, I know this topic was a little confusing, we do have a few more examples on the next page. Um, again, these are optional if you would like to watch them to help you out. If you think that you're good on the topic, you can end the video now. Um, so if you would like to see the extra examples, flip the page. Okay, so we have three more. Example number seven, it says, the sum of the interior angles in a polygon is 7,200 degrees. Classify the polygon by number of sides. Um, so what you could do is, I'm going to go through all three problems. If you want to try them on your own first, you are welcome to do that, um, and then check your answers. Or you are welcome to just go through them with me. So some of the interior angles, that's the formula 180 multiplied by n minus 2. Sorry, that should be an 8. And I'm going to set that equal to 7,200. If I distribute my 180, I have 180n subtract 360 is equal to 7,200. Adding 360, I have 180n equals 7,560. If I divide by 180, I get n equals 42. So uh, the sum of the interior angles is 7,200 degrees in a, um, in a 42 gon or a polygon that has 42 sides. Next one, it says one interior angle of a regular polygon is 135 degrees. Classify the polygon by number of sides. So again, we're given an interior angle of a regular polygon. So this is similar to example six. We talked about though, interior angles are more difficult to work with than exterior angles. So instead of approaching this from the interior angle side, we're gonna approach it from the exterior angle side. So we are told one interior angle is 135 degrees. We need to find a corresponding exterior angle. Remember that interior and exterior are supplementary. So if I take 180 and I subtract 135, I'm going to get 45. So another way to uh, word this problem is how many sides are there if each exterior angle is 45 degrees? My exterior angle sum to be 360. So I'm going to do 360 divided by each one is 45, and I get 8 sides. Okay, and then my last one, example 9, it says calculate the value of x in the figure below. Okay, in the figure below, we have a pentagon. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what the interior angle is sum to be. I'm going to do 180 multiplied by 5 subtract 2 which is 540. So all five of those angles have to sum to be 540. So that's what I'm going to do. 64, add 2x, add 110, add 86, add 3x is equal to 540. Combining like terms, 64, 110, and 86 is going to give me 260. 2x and 3x is going to give me 5x. 
If I subtract 260, I get 5x equals 280. Dividing by 5, I get x equals 56. So hopefully that was able to clarify any misconceptions that we may have or any, any confusion that we may have. Um, please make sure that you have that last example done. It's the example between 6 and 7. That said, did we accomplish the objectives? Um, as I will be checking that tomorrow. Good luck.